When you take the tennis ball cutter out of the box, you will see that there is a packing support attached to the tennis ball cutter. It is a different color than the tennis ball cutter. It is easy to remove. Just sort of peel it away. Keep the packing support in the box for safe keeping. The package contains your tennis ball cutter. The tennis ball cutter is shipped with a slide lock in place. The slide lock is red. With the slide lock in place, the tennis ball cutter is smaller for shipping. And you will use this slide lock to change the blade when the time comes. Place the tennis ball cutter on a table. Press down on the slide or rotate the handle a bit to relieve pressure from the slide lock and remove the slide lock. It isn't hard to do. After the slide lock is removed, slowly and with care, let the slide up. You are now ready to cut tennis balls. There is a handy place to store the slide lock on the back of the tennis ball cutter. The slide lock helps when replacing the blade. You will use the slide lock with the blade changing tool to change the blade. The blade changing tool is in the top of the handhold. Please watch the video for new users next.